front of you to a new League of Legends video in this one. We're going to be busting out the Akshan in the mid lane because, well, Akshan, of course, comes out on the live service today. So I thought, you know what? Let's get some fresh gameplay of this new champion coming out. Uh, so for you guys, you know, refresh your memories, refresh, you know, just what the champion even does. So when you pick him in the live service, you can maybe just, you know, pick him and understand what to do already. You know, you're ready to go. So hopefully this gameplay will help you out with that. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to hit that like button. Ladies and gentlemen, that would mean a lot. But let's get this party started. So, guys, when you play him, the biggest difference you'll notice right away is the fact that he pretty much always does a double auto attack, right? Again, you can cancel it and get that little bit of movement speed. But if you don't, of course, it is going to be a double auto attack. So keep that in hey mind. Guys, so before we continue, I'm here to let you know that Opera GX, which is a sick gaming browser, is sponsoring a tournament for League of Legends with Repeat.gg. And you can get 10 million coins in prizes, which you can redeem for things like RP cards and a bunch of other gifts in Repeat.gg's marketplace. I'm going to be playing in it as well, so make sure you join now using the link below and see how you do against me. So if you're unaware, Repeat.gg is one of the easiest tournament websites to use. And the reason is you don't have to download anything. It tracks all of your gameplay, all of your stats, all you got to do is simply link your League of Legends account to the website and that is literally it. So as you're playing League of Legends, you're automatically playing in the tournament and you have a chance to win free prizes. Also, if you're unaware, Opera GX is a super sick version of the Opera browser built specifically for gamers. It has a lot of really cool features such as built-in limiters for CPU, RAM, and network usage, which you can change as well. They have integration built into the browser with Twitch, Discord, and much more. So make sure you use my link down below, guys, to sign up and compete against me for free cash prizes. Right, you can also use your E like pretty aggressively like that. Like he can be a pretty aggressive champion if you're doing it correctly, but it's really easy to mess it up. Um, but yeah, so don't forget you do get that bonus movement speed on your E ability if you use it. Or sorry, on your uh, double auto attack if you cancel after the first auto attack. And press the attack by the way for runes. Here you go, guys. These are some decent runes to choose. IMO. I'm not sure about the secondary page, but for the first page, probably something like that. And your Q, don't forget, also, as it hits something, it continues to go forward. Similar to Seraphine's ult, except it also applies on minions. Oh. Ooh. I mean, the Gragas is running out of mana, so let's see what happens here. I really want to go for a kill on this guy, but I don't know if I can. He's like too close to turrets. It's the only thing I'm scared about. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus. Okay, see, okay, like I said, the E ability is a dangerous ability. There's the Mumu, so we're going to go ahead and farm from up here. Like I said, the E ability is extremely dangerous. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and continue farming. Don't mind me. <laughs> Le Jukes. That's what we call the Le Jukes. Alright, anyways. Let's go ahead and recall. But yeah, so like I said, the E-Bolt is really spooky, right? So there, I I don't know exactly what made that. I think maybe because I hit him or I right clicked on him. I dashed towards the Gragas, which put me into turret range. So those are the kind of things that can pretty much make you lose a lane if you mess up hard enough. And that was pretty damn close. Um, so keep that in mind, guys. Very important. When you're coming out of base, you can also use this, heal up, and then right before you're, you know, about to expire, you can use it to leave the base a little bit faster, right? Nice little tricks you can do like that to kind of speed up your overall, uh, you know, return to lane and things like that, which are obviously really, really good. Alright. See, I think it's actually quite even in this mid lane. Oof, that hurts. Oh, fuck the press the attack. Let's go. Give me this. Nope. Yo, that actually kind of hurts, though, Mr. Gragas. What you got in that barrel, homie? Because that ain't beer, I'll tell you that right now. Or it ain't wine. Oh, I missed that. Dude, that actually... Some damage on that thing. My goodness. Oh, 
Wait. I almost got absolutely like hard baited by the Tom Kench there. Because he was coming in for the gank, so I engaged it. And the second I engaged it, he started walking away, and I'm like, wait, what? Okay, I don't want to overarm this too close to this Gragas. This Gragas does quite a bit of damage, so we're gonna reset and get this Newton Quiver. Newton Quiver is when you start really getting like nice uh, nice damage. Beautiful. Pick that up, pick this up as well. Again, you're healing up, throw the E there, and as you're about to finish healing. A little bit faster. So, one other important thing to remember is his W, right? That's the kind of the weird ability. That's the one that revives, etc., right? So, the passive is essentially if someone gets a kill, like let's say the set kills a Z, for instance, right? Well, now the set is a scoundrel. You'll get a little bit of a marker towards him. You can follow a trail that leads towards him as well. Uh, if you follow the trail, you do get bonus movement speed and mana regeneration. And if you kill him, not only do you revive the Z if he's still dead, but you also get a little bit of bonus gold, which is always very, very nice. On top of that, uh, the active effect of the W is what makes you go invisible, but you have to be either standing next to a wall, or at least you can leave the wall, but you have to go back to another wall pretty fast. Or, um, okay, see, now I, Amumu is a scoundrel. So we're gonna use a W, and we have this little, you see this little scent? Oh, so he's doing this camp up there. I'm not gonna get him, there's no way. I'm gonna walk back to mid. I was hoping I can find the sets actually and use my ultimate on him, but whatever. Um, yeah, so the active is the way you stand beside walls, I guess. You can leave the wall, you can see a little circle, which means you have to get back to like a wall or a bush pretty much ASAP. So keep that in mind, guys. Gragas is kind of spooky, man. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of spooky, man. Off the passive. Damn, he's AP Gragas, but he actually doesn't take that much damage. He's quite tanky. So what I definitely want to do, so one thing I'm sad about is the set didn't get the kill. If set got the kill, it makes roaming to top much easier. So if you ever have a losing lane, because it becomes the scoundrels, it's very easy to roam to them and kill them. Okay, well. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's a little painful. Um, okay, that hurts. That actually hurts quite a bit. Oh, swing and a miss. That's a little bait. Let's try that. We need to kill minions. Block this, so he just stands beside minions. Oh, don't Gets a little bit of damage on him there, though. Okay. Not bad, a 2 for 2. Or, well, it's a 2v2 rather, but no one died. Nice little bait that you saw with the E ability, right? Bait out his E. Okay, that's a huge shutdown, actually. Okay, last second, dodge it. The Zed is here. Okay, that's actually huge. Beautiful. Woo, the Amumu came back to help the Gragas. So there you can see, right? I'm using the E ability to constantly dodge the Gragas' E. And it's like pretty hard. I get to predict it essentially. Like sometimes I'm getting kind of lucky, but like doing that kind of stuff is like usually what will separate like, you know, if you're like a good Akshan or not a good Akshan, things like that. You have to like do it like, and you get to do it consistently too. You can't just do it like the one time. You have to like do it pretty consistently, right? Because you can cancel it at any time. They don't know when you're going to cancel it. So you have to use that to your advantage. Oh, Invis here. Oh, yeah. See, once you get the Gale Force, man, it's like a different game entirely. You become like much stronger, your chase potential is much better, your execute potential is just fantastic there. So you become much more powerful. Very nice. Put a pink in there. 
Our ball lane's chilling. There's no scoundrel at the very moment, so we're just gonna go ahead and keep pushing this in. Use the Q to push us in. Again, don't forget, it flies all the way across, so it's really, really nice. Okay, maybe we can look for a bothering room. Let's check it out. Use our W to go stealth. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, there's a pink there. I don't know if the pink sees me, though. Like, okay, I'll take it. Th thank you for the kill, lads. See, that's that right there is true love. I respect that. You know, they're not making me waste my roam down to the ball in. They're actually giving me something in return. And I respect that. That's very nice of you guys. Thank you very much. Very nice. Very kind of you. Very thoughtful. Alright, let's push this in. Or not push this in, but let's stop this Gragas from pushing it in. More specifically. This guy's actually just... Damn, this guy is trying to one-shot me. And then there's a movement there and everything. My goodness, yo, what's going on, lads? Oh my lord. Gotta go. The Gragas is like right above me, so I wanna go ahead and get the move really fast and kill him before the Gragas can number one block the shots and number two uh, kill me right after. So again. With the ultimate, you can charge it up to the full duration. It's obviously more damage, but you obviously also risk the fact that, well, now they're going to walk into safety somewhere and maybe get it blocked. So that's why you can press it R again and actually cancel the ultimate early and just fire the shot sooner than later. And that pretty much makes it so that, you know, in that scenario, I can kill him sooner than later rather than waiting for the full charge and you're chilling. Oh. Okay, what I want to do, actually, I want to go ahead and here. And I want to go up. Jeez, man. That's a really close battle. I can't back. I don't know why I can't back. Wait, I literally can't press my B button. Okay. Well, apparently we're glitched somehow. We're now... We, uh... We cannot back anymore. Apparently. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I literally can't press the B. <laughs> what the hell? That's a little bit weird. Maybe my E glitch is somehow. Let's try using the E again. There you go. Okay, now it actually unglitched. Okay, so that's a little bit of a glitch. Uh, apparently, the E sometimes blocks you from using your W. Or your back, rather. It's a little bit strange, but it is what it is. Let's reset. Gonna work for the collector. We'll get the mobility boots. We'll get this. We'll get this. Okay, so let's see. There doesn't seem to be... Any champion that is currently the scoundrel, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So we get, the reason we're getting these boots is so we can just roam around the map like really fast. I see ball in a lot of potential action happening there, so we're gonna get ready to roam for there. Gragas could be just sitting in one of these bushes, ready to one shot. Oh, there he is. Yep. I mean, Gragas is gonna be right there, yep. I'm here, though. No way. No way! Flash! Boom, 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 boom! Let's go! That was a sick fight! Jesus! And the guy is back up. And we get the extra gold. There you go! That was a pretty spicy fight! I like that. That was sick. That was really fun. I, I I thought I was dead for sure. The second the movement ulted me, I'm like, okay, I'm dead. Like, there's no way I get away from this. Nice. Good stuffs. 
I think I messed up my E at the very end there, because the E kept resetting, so I kept using it. But then, I don't know, I think something somewhere here, like, I messed it up. I might have been, like, spamming, like, the right-click a little too much, you know? Let's see if I can get this Kaisa here. There's the pie. This is getting a little spooky. Tom Kench coming in and yoinking that kill. Let's get the hell out of here. Nice. Pretty decent kills. Now we have the Collector, so we'll have a lot of execution damage. I kind of want to get Mortal Reminder. I, I, I do want some Taxi, potentially. So we get that. I kind of want to get this just to see how it feels with a little bit of extra uh, attack speed. You know what I mean? I'm kind of curious. Oh, that actually cancels at the wall. I'm too, like, the rope there was too long, so that I smack into the wall and it just essentially uh, cancels it instantly. Okay, so the W on. Again, there's no scoundrel, so we can't regenerate. Ooh, that's unfortunate. So you can see my mana is like, you know, it's depleting fairly fast, you know what I'm saying? So you want to obviously get the mana back, but that's where the scoundrel effect comes in because... Um, when you follow a path, you get the mana regeneration, so it's a really, really good. Well, does that miss the Whee! Oh, Alright, he can have it. Oh, the pike actually lives that, no way! Reset, though. Okay, I actually don't like it that much. I kind of regret getting the um, the zeal. It's, it's kind of mediocre, not as good as I thought it would feel. I think we just want the raw damage. A little bit of a fiesta in the mid lane, okay. Now they have a scoundrel, the set and the Gragas. So we want to make sure we kill them next, hopefully. Let's see, let's see. Scragus is actually like really, really strong. Like you don't I don't want to underestimate him. Like I'm pretty sure he can potentially one shot me. Okay, where's the set? So the set is up here somewhere. An enemy has been slain. There's the set. But I don't know if we kill him. But we do kill the Samumu and this Kaisa, so we'll just do that. Maybe saved. Okay, that Amumu Q. I ignited her before I died. She dies. Nice. Ah, yo, Gabe, okay, one year, one month. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that so much, man. Much love, buddy. Much love. Thank you so much. Um, damn, dude. I messed it up so hard. Dude, my W ran out. I don't know. I messed up somehow. I thought I was beside a wall, but I don't know. I wasn't, I guess. I don't know what happened there. That was weird. My W got cancelled, so they started seeing me. Scoundrel doesn't do anything unless teammates are dead. No, uh, we still have the active invisibility. The passive doesn't do anything unless someone dies, because that's where you can revive someone. That's when you get the you know the the, the debuff on someone, you know, for being a scoundrel. That's where you get the, the trail, blah blah blah. Um But even without that, you still have the uh, uh invisibility. Or maybe Yomus could be pretty decent, actually. So you can just run even faster. Oh. 
No way. Where is the pike? What? Smack runs to the turret. You see what I mean though? That's the ability where it's like, it's so good, but it's really like, it could really be your downfall. Like there are just smack runs to the turret. Super, super, like really bad play. <laughs> And like, if you make that during a team fight, like, it's a doomer. You know what I mean? Like, it, that's a massive doomer. Like, you really don't want to make that mistake. Um, which is why you gotta be really careful with how you use this E, because it's it's your best and like worst tool at the same time. Wait, what? I killed him? Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't even know. Okay, I don't know how I killed him, but I guess I'll take it. I go. Oh, that's really bad. Ah, that hurts, man. This Gragas is actually pretty painful. Holy AP Gragas. Okay, this Tom Kench. Trying to make some plays here. I respect that. Look how far that Q goes, man. Look how far that thing goes. It's crazy. <laughs> that damage on that thing is crazy. The range on that is so good, too. It's so satisfying to get that going. Oh, my God. The Gragas one-shot somebody, though. Yeah, almost one-shot me, too. Okay, well, I think I just revived the Kaiser or something and the Pike, and they're back alive. That's like that's pretty nuts though. Like when you can just like instantly revive people like that, it's pretty disgusting. I can't back again. There's like a weird glitch. All right, there we go. Now I can back. Okay, I have a lot of gold. I'm gonna go ahead and get this turret, and then we're just gonna recall. Okay, let's recall. Actually, we'll get the inhibitor. Let's get the heal out of here, man. Oh, that's not good. Well, at least she's sitting on someone before she. Oh. Well, I'm better. No. Okay, my boy, my boy Tom Kench coming in clutch there. Nice, thanks, man. What was Kaisa here? Wait. <laughs> you thought I was done. You thought I was leaving. I ain't leaving. I'm just getting started. Wait, what? I pressed R on him. What? I pressed R? What do you mean, bro? It doesn't make sense. Okay, yeah, I'm good. We're out. Okay, walk around like this. Let me kill. Let me kill. Let me kill. Check it out. I'm dead. Yeah, okay, my bad. Overstepping, a lot of gold, getting cocky, need to stop, need to chillax. <laughs> it's a little too much. I wanna try this actually. And then we'll just go for this. Actually, no, we're not gonna go for that. We're gonna go for this. Sir. I feel like rapid fire could be pretty spicy actually. The Gale Force passive is, for once, actually pretty decent on uh, on this guy because you want to move around quite a bit. So it's actually like a decent passive. Because usually this passive kind of sucks on most champions that actually build the item. But it's actually quite good on, on uh, Akshan. Actually like worth getting in, you know, playing with and stuff.
There's a lot of my god, what is this damage? Who's doing this damage? There's no way it's a Tom Kench, right? That's ridiculous. Oh, the Greg is actually making a play? <gasps> Oh wow, that's really... Yeah, this is the Kaisa. No. <laughs> this game is getting uh, pretty fiesta, I have to say. <laughs> pretty good though, pretty fun. Yeah, his, again, his E ability, man, it's it's like it's literally his best and worst ability at the same time. Like you can do some pretty disgusting things with this item or with this uh, uh, ability. But this thing can also literally be the reason you just absolutely just run it down and it's like really really hard. Similar to like again the Yone's uh, E ability, similar concept. It's like his best and worst ability. Oh, the Zed. Okay, looking for some plays. He sells his ult. Waiting. Okay. Also the Mumu. Let's see if we can. Nope. Nope. The QSS. That Mumu ult is too too powerful, man. Greg is trying to kill the Yumi. Let's see. Close? <laughs> almost. I think the Yumi almost had him. It's pretty close. Let's follow this thing. See, you run like a little bit faster while you follow. Mr. Gragas is a villain. And that's a lot of damage. Hoo I revived those two. Let's try not to do that again. Hmm? Oh my this I need life still, man, that's what I need. My goodness, I have like nothing. I'm dead. What? What? Do this inhibitor. I didn't even notice. I'm like stupid. I'm dead. <laughs> Fucking pipe hole. Dude, I need lifesteal actually. That's what I need. Mm, what do we want to get here instead, maybe? I'm thinking maybe get this wave. And then we'll get the Bloodthirster when we spawn. If the game is still happening, of course. Oh, that's a juicy Yumi ult. Oh yeah, that's a very juicy meal. Does that is here? Let's see. Okay, is that? Okay. Oh, you gotta ulti that? Dude, this Greg is deeps, man. Holy guacamole. GG. I think that's GG right there. Yeah, there you guys have it. So, some quick little uh, Akshan gameplay. Hopefully kind of, you know, remind you guys as he comes out. Hopefully you guys, you know, will have a better idea what to do. Hope you learned something. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed playing him. So let me know what you think down below. If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like button. Thank you all for watching. Peace, peace, peace.